एंटी फेरोमैग्नेटिज्म एंटी फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म मैग्नेटिज्म एज द नेम इम्प्लाइज दिस इज एग्जैक्टली द ऑपोजिट ऑफ फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म इन सर्टन सब्सटेंसेस एट वेरी वेरी लो टेम्परेचर वेरी वेरी लो टेम्परेचर देन रूम टेम्परेचर 27 सेवन डिग्री ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री लेस देन दैट इट मे बी फाइव केलविन और इवन फाइव टेन फोर केलविन थ्री केलविन एट दिस वेरी वेरी लो टेम्परेचर सर्टन सबस्टेंस एग्जिबिट दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज एग्जैक्टली द ऑपोजिट ऑफ फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म वी रिमेम्बर दैट इन फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म द डोमेन स्पीन्स वंस द एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज एप्लाइड द डोमेन स्पीन्स वायर पैरल with respect to each other and once the external magnetic field is removed still then they are they remain parallel and that is why they are strongly attracted by magnetic field or they are magnetic and ferromagnetic substances are those substances uh, which we encounter in our everyday life like the bar magnet like the refrigerator magnet etc so this was the case of ferromagnetism but in case of antiferromagnetism at very low temperature there are some crystal like uh, uh, some metal oxides chromium oxide or manganese oxide manganese oxide specially or uh, some nickel oxide so they exhibit antiferromagnetism where the domain spins are exactly oppositely oriented opposite to each other they exactly cancels each other like this one they exactly cancel each other so that the net spin is zero when there is no external magnetic field and at very low temperature at very low temperature if we raise the temperature gradually we shall see that this arrangement is no longer possible and this arrangement is destroyed so that they now the uh, spin domain spin are now randomly oriented oppositely oriented in every direction all possible direction and eventually the substance acts as the substance now act as paramagnetic substances it is the temperature at which this transition occurs from antifero from antifero to paramagnetism this temperature is called nil temperature nil temperature after the name of the scientist nil okay so this is what is antiferromagnetism and antiferromagnetism of is observed at very low temperature which is destroyed at nil temperature so that the substance now becomes paramagnetic an example is manganese oxide So that is it